This is the way up to the Mont Blanc with my son Antar, our guide Tomas. It's a very warm day. The snow is soft, makes the ascent difficult. But the landscape is absolutely stunning. We will soon be rewarded with a little break up here for our lunch. This place is of extraordinary beauty. We see glaciers, we see mountain peaks, white mountain peaks, still white, but shrinking. Climate change is melting away some of the white caps of the world. Mount Kilimanjaro, for example, in the dry season is devoid of the white that used to be around. Kilimanjaro means the white mountain. Temperatures are increasing. Last year was the warmest in the history of temperature records on the planet. In December, the decision makers of the world will have to make profound commitments to hold climate change and to stay under two degrees. This is an area of many glaciers. They are, of course, uh, melting gradually as global temperatures increase. That is a problem, particularly for communities that depend on fresh water uh, that is released by the glaciers during the dry season, as is the case in the Andes, in the Himalayas. Millions of people depend on what is the greatest storage of fresh water on the planet. And those ice packs are gradually receding. Yesterday we visited the Mer de Glace, the Sea of Ice, one of the most famous glaciers in the region and the largest glacier in France. Now we saw there immediately the effects of climate change. The glacier is about 200 meters deeper in the valley than it used to be 200 years ago. The glacier itself is receding at a rate of about five meters per year. It is directly visible how it is melting gradually. And these areas of extreme beauty that attract thousands of tourists every year to appreciate them will be degraded over time. So here we are witnessing directly the impacts of climate change, not just on the environment, but also on the tourism industry that mobilizes millions for communities around this beautiful mass. Here is the Mont Blanc summit within reach, but unfortunately, a storm has been forecasted for the next two days up on the summit, and we will have to cancel the attempt to reach it this time around. Uh, for me, this is very disappointing. We've put a lot of effort into it, and yet we came here and we saw the impacts of climate change firsthand as mountaineers, but impacts that go way beyond uh, the nostalgia of perhaps some people that appreciate the mountains, seeing them melt away and uh, those white caps eventually uh, disappearing.